Okay, we're going to do one more. Um, we're going to do retail, and this is based on a partnership with a customer that our professional services team is currently working on. Please join me welcoming to the stage Sheila Wu, a senior member of our professional services team. Good morning, Sheila. Hi, Mumbi. Nice to be here. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Tell me a little bit what we're going to be looking at. Yeah, today we're going to be looking at, um, at a program that we launched exactly one year ago. It was called Earn Your Wings. And in that Earn Your Wings program, what we did was we invited our customers to come with their data and to explore all of these type of features, these aviator features that you're seeing today, yesterday. So we launched that last year, and there was a lot of excitement about it. And we have some real customers that have come to us, and we've done this program with them. And today I'm here to walk you through one of those experiences. Great. So in this setup, we have a retail customer and, excuse me, a manufacturing customer, uh, rather customer. And in this uh, manufacturer, what they do is they ship their goods to all of their uh, distribution centers and their vendors. And I, as an accounts receivable manager, I'm managing disputes. That means that if there's an issue that comes in, I need to resolve that. And I'm going to take a look here at one of these workspaces. And this should be a very familiar type of workspace. This is XECM, and I've got my content organized. So the type of documents that I'm looking at are bill of ladings, invoices, as well as proof of delivery. And this dispute that's been opened up and that's come to me has been all about an, a vendor has called me to say that they ordered 90 pallets of shoes and they've only received 80 boxes of that. So what I need to validate is whether that's true or not and whether that's, that statement is true across all of my various documents. So that's my bill of lading, my invoices, as well as my proof of delivery. And I'm going to ask Aviator to solve that for me. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds, really, yeah. um, Aviator was able to extract that information, retrieve it, put it into a format that's legible to me, easily digestible, and also make these comparisons, make a calculation and a comparison, and then ultimately, pretty much feed me the decision that I need to make whether I should counter this dispute or not. That's great. And it summarized the information. You could actually cut and paste into an executive report or by scanning all the content. It That's could right. be 100, it could be 1,000 documents. Exactly. I can take that next step. And you can imagine that would be a Gentech AI next year taking that next step on the low-level decisions, right? On the decisions that I feel safe about. Okay, in this next example, it's not a dispute that's been opened up. Rather, I'm shipping my goods to multiple distributors, and one of the, you can imagine that one of the trucks or the transportation methods has flipped over on the road because of some really bad weather. There's been some kind of traffic incident. So all of the content on that truck has spilled all over the roadway, and it's been damaged. The only information that I have is the carrier name as well as the trailer number, and with that limited information, I need to ask Aviator to find for me who do I need to contact and what do I need to contact them about. And Aviator is going to find that really before I even ask, before I even was able to verbally finish my sentence, Aviator was able to respond to me. And that's here, great. it's not only got that information in a way, in a table, that's really easy to read, but it's also telling me how I can contact those people. And so this has saved a lot of pressure for me. It's reduced me as, a, as a, an accounts receivable agent, lowered down my temperature a lot. Um, yeah. And one of the things that's beautiful about this is not only is it really impacting me at the user level, but it's impacting my CFO because ultimately what they're worried about is things like revenue leakage. And that's huge for the bottom line of any retail or uh, large organization that's manufacturing and creating these goods. And if there are challenges, how easy can the aviator help you? So I got to say, that's why the Earn Your Wings program exists. Okay. You know, we've got this beautiful technology that we've been showcasing yesterday. We'll continue to showcase today. And you know, one of the things that Mark said yesterday, he was talking about um, everyday AI versus game-changing AI. Yeah. The difference between the two is these people in this room. The difference is you know, my team uh, and, and the people at OpenText as well. But really, it is the data. It's the customer's content that makes a difference. And it's the use case, and it's distilling down. Um, here's, I've got this huge EBITDA problem to I've got this agent, this AR agent, who can't resolve a dispute within a certain amount of time. And that has a trickling impact to the entire organization. And so 
yes, there are those challenges, and the, through these things like Earn Your Wings, it, we allow, it allows our customers to have this handheld experience with professional services to uncover the use case, to match the data with the problem, and then to solve that together. So it really is bringing this all to life. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. What else can you share with our, our customers? I just want to say that the, real, the power really resides with our customers and our customers' data. You know, we come up with this cool technology. I love everything that I've seen at this show yesterday and today. But really, you know, it's like having a body without a soul. The, the, the real life comes through that data, through that content, and through the people ca that care about the problem. And that's everybody in this room. Sheila, thank you so much for joining yeah. thank me Thank you today. so much for having thank me. Thank you so much.